hello friends so till this video we have seen the multiple numericals on differentiation under integral sign so we have seen the concept which is proved by Leibniz and now we will verify the rule of DUIs by considering the integration so here we have a question to verify the rule of DUIs for integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus a t sin b t dt where a is a parameter and t is the variable of integration now guys for that let's see what is the rule of DUIs so DUIs says that di by da is equal to integration 0 to infinity because it is given 0 to infinity do by do a of that function so your function is e raised to minus a t sin b t dt is equal so this is the rule of dui is that is differentiation under integral sign now in our question we have to verify this rule so what we'll do is we will solve this left hand side separately we'll find out one value then we'll solve the right hand side separately separately then we'll solve the right hand side separately we will find another value and then if both values are same then we will say that the rule of DUIS is verified so let's start so for time being I'll call it so for time being I'll call it this rule of DUIS as equation number one now let's start with the LHS so here I'll say LHS or the left hand side is DI upon DA now let's get the value of di by da so here i is the integral which is given as this so here i'll say it is equal to d by da of that integral which is integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus a t sin b t dt and now we will solve this integration first so here d by da and here in the bracket we will say this is the property of integration of e raised to ax into sin bx so by using the formula of that property we will get e raised to minus a t upon a square plus b square into minus a sin b t minus b cos bt so this is the value and it is from 0 to infinity now let's solve this so by putting t as infinity we will get e raised to minus infinity as 0 and next we will put 0 so here we will get it is equal to d by da of 0 minus now let's put 0 over here so e raised to 0 is 1 so 1 upon a square plus b square in bracket sine 0 will give us 0 but cos 0 is 1 so 1 into minus b that is minus b now this will give us d by da of b upon a square plus b square now guys let's take this b outside because we are differentiating with respect to a and the differentiation of 1 upon a square plus b square with respect to a is minus 1 upon a square plus b square the whole square into 2a which is equivalent to minus 2ab upon a square plus b square the whole square and this is the value of LHS and we'll call it as equation number 2 so here I got the left hand side now let's evaluate the right hand side and let's get the equation number 3 
and if this value of LHS and RHS is same then we'll say that the rule of DUIS is verified so let's start so here I'll say RHS is equal to integration from 0 to infinity do by do a of e raised to minus a t sin b t d t. So let's solve this. So here we will get integration 0 to infinity. Now differentiation of this term with respect to a partially so sin bt will come outside which is constant and here we will get e raised to minus a t into minus t dt. Now to evaluate this RHS we have to evaluate the integral and inside the integral we have three functions. Now these three functions are multiplying each other and hence to evaluate this integration I am going to use the rule of integration by parts. So in integration by parts we have two terms u and v but here we have three terms. So I am going to combine two terms and I will make it as v and I will keep one term as u. So here we will combine this e raised to minus a t with sin b t and we will keep t as it is and negative sign obviously outside. So this is nothing but equal to negative sign outside integration 0 to infinity t as it is into e raised to minus a t sin b t dt. Now let's evaluate this. So I'll call it as u and this one as v. So this will give us negative sign as it is in the curly bracket t as it is integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus a t sin b t dt that is v term minus again integration from 0 to infinity derivative with respect to t for this u term which is t into integration of e raised to minus a t sin of b t dt and outside this bracket we have one more dt and here we'll call it we'll say that it is from 0 to infinity now let's evaluate this so here we will get minus sign as it is t this bracket again by the property we will get e raised to minus a t upon a square plus b square into minus a sin b t minus b cos b t minus the next line the integration from 0 to infinity derivative is 1 and here we will get same term that is e raised to minus a t upon a square plus b square minus a sin b t minus b cos b t into d t and this is from 0 to infinity. Now since the first term is evaluated or here we have removed this integral sign we can substitute the upper and lower limit in the first term and for the second term we will evaluate the integral and then we will put upper and lower limit. So when we will put this upper limit in the first term here we will get e raised to minus infinity and we know that it is 0. So I will say that here minus n outside and the bracket we will get 0 by putting infinity. Next when we will put the lower limit as 0 over here then since t is 0 this whole term will become 0 and we will get 0 from the first term. Next this negative sign and we will separate the integration from these two terms. So this first term with the negative sign will become positive 
इंटीग्रेशन इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू इंफिनिटी ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर ए साइन बी टी एंड दिस माइनस माइनस अगेन प्लस इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इंफिनिटी ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी अपॉन ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर बी कॉस बी टी डी टी फ्रॉम जीरो टू इंफिनिटी नाउ लेट्स इवेल्युएट दिस इंटीग्रेशन सो आई टेक दिस नेगेटिव साइन इन साइड दैट विल बिकम माइनस दिस ए इज कॉन्स्टेंट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर कॉन्स्टेंट सो विल टेक इट आउट साइड एंड यूर वी विल गेट ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी साइन बी टी इन द इंटीग्रेशन सो यूर विल से इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस ए अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू इंफिनिटी ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी साइन बी टी डी टी Similarly here I can take b and a square plus b square outside and minus plus will become minus. So minus b upon a square plus b square integration zero to infinity e raised to minus a t into cos b t d t. And now we'll evaluate this. So here we will get minus a upon a square plus b square and by applying the property over here we will get e raised to minus a t upon a square plus b square into minus a sin b t minus b cos b t and limits is from 0 to infinity similarly for the second term we will get minus b upon a square plus b square by applying the property e raised to minus a t upon a square plus b square here minus a cos b t plus b sin b t from 0 to infinity and now we will substitute upper and lower limit so here we will get minus a upon a square plus b square by substituting infinity over here e raised to minus infinity is 0 so this term will be 0 minus when we'll put 0 so e raised to 0 will be 1 so we will get 1 upon a square plus b square in bracket sine 0 is 0 cos 0 1 so 1 into minus b that is minus b Next, minus b upon a square plus b square. Then, here, we'll put infinity. So, e raised to minus infinity is 0. Minus, by putting 0, here get, we'll get e raised to 0. That is 1 upon a square plus b square. In bracket, cos 0, 1. So, we'll get minus a sine 0 is 0. So, this is minus minus plus b upon a square plus b square into this will be minus a b upon a square plus b square the whole square. This is again minus minus plus a upon a square plus b square into this. So, minus a b upon a square plus b square the whole square and if we'll sum it up then we will get minus 2ab upon a square plus b square the whole square so guys this is the value of rhs so on the next page i'll say rhs is equal to minus 2ab upon a square plus b square the whole square that is equation number three and now we will observe the LHS and RHS that is from equation number two and three. So this one is equation number two for RH LHS which is minus 2ab a square plus b square the whole square and this is RHS and if you see that 
and if you see the equation 2 and 3 then you will find that LHS is equal to RHS so guys it means the rule of DUIS which we had taken in equation number 1 in that the left hand side is exactly equal to right hand side and hence we can say that we have verified the rule of DUIS by using this function. So I stop here and guys if you like this video and if you want to learn more concepts and numericals of engineering mathematics as well as you want more updates about engineering mathematics then do not forget to log in on ekira.com today itself and learn the magic of mathematics. Thank you.